fairly early, hopefully. But as the moment, um, I'm just kind of enjoying the moment, enjoying the moment with my family. They're out here. Um, got a lot of people out here supporting me, so it's been really cool. I mean, it's it's really exciting just knowing that I'm going to get picked. Um, whether it's the top, whether it's the number one 100, um, I'm looking to, to slow myself after the draft because uh, that's really what what happens. You know, it's not where where or when you get drafted. It's uh, uh, what you do after you get drafted. So that's what I'm looking forward to. This is such a long process, but now you're here. You're in Dallas. You can see the finish line. Uh, just just talk about that. that. That probably is a bit of a relief in itself. Oh yeah, this whole process has been drawn out. Um, you know, they could have had the draft a month ago. I'd have been fine with that. But you know, we're we're a day away, uh, knowing that all of this stuff is going to be over with. We're going to be on the team. We're going to be working. It's going to be football 24/7. Uh, I just can't. Wait. I mean, I had seven visits, so I mean, I can see myself in seven different uniforms. Uh, whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm looking forward to the challenge of being in the NFL. I'm looking forward to getting with my teammates and my new coaching staff. Um, and, you know, putting in the hours to, to start winning football games, because that's really what it's all about. What's Buffalo? It was nice. It was nice talking with their coaching staff. I really like what they've got going on over there. Their owners are super committed to their team, and um, I think that's how it should be. What's Getting. the night going to be like? You going to get a good night's sleep? I think so. You know, I, I, I sleep like a baby most nights. and I'm not like, as, as weird as it seems, I'm not nervous at all. Um, I'm content with everything that's going to happen tomorrow, whether it's first, second, fifth, tenth, whatever it is. You know, I'm, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity to play in the NFL. It looks like you get tired of the, the idea that, you know what, this, this accuracy is completion percentage is a problem. The knocks that everybody's been trying to hit on, probably all you quarterbacks, but in particular that, when did that... <laughs> at the, at the that start of it, at the start of the, the this whole process. You know, I don't think I'm an inaccurate quarterback. You know, I, obviously the 56% completion percentage. It's not where it needs to be, uh, but when my feet are set and I'm throwing on platform and throwing rhythm, you know, I'm as accurate as anybody out there. So, um, and I'm looking forward to, to showing, showing that, and I, I felt like I have throughout the whole process, going to the Senior Bowl, the Combine, Pro Day. Um, so now it's actually, I, I want to use it in, in live games, and, uh, you know, bullets flying at me. Now you spent some time working out with Sam Darnold, obviously. You've come across the other Josh and, and uh, Lamar through the various Combines or, or whatever, but four of you are here today, the four of you, you know, I'm, I'm sure you've developed a little bit of a friendship even though you're kind of competing, quote yeah. unquote, uh, as to who gets picked where. Well, here, here's the thing, I, I I want everybody to be successful, and except when they're playing me, of course, you know, but, um, you know, this is a class that could be special, I and mean, I would love to be part of the, one of the greatest quarterback classes ever, 15 years down the road, we can look back and, and say that, so, um, you know, I, I like the guys out here. I'm saying little Sam, love Sam, just because I spent a lot of time with them. Lamar and Josh, great, great dudes, and they're great human beings, and they're out here, they're with the kids, and they're doing everything right. So I'm happy for them. I'm excited to see what they do in their journey. Um, but hopefully when, when we come around and play each other, uh, we'll be coming out on top. Does coming from a place like Wyoming and being the strong arm guy you are, do you think that puts you in a better position to handle uh, conditions like places like Buffalo or Cleveland, you know, the weather? Absolutely. I think that's what people see when they kind of look at me as just a, a, a bad weather quarterback just because of what I've done at Wyoming. I didn't play in great conditions there. Um, you know, I'm freaking practicing wind every day in Wyoming. So it's just something that, that I'm okay with. Um, I know my strengths and, you know, the arm strength and the ability to cut through wind and snow and rain and all that stuff. It kind of comes with being um, a quarterback that plays in tough weather. And if you look at all the playoff games this past year, it was cold, it was windy, and that's, that's playoff football. Josh, do you get a sense? From Wyoming is now you go to a much bigger stage, uh, what would that be like? I, I think that how I was born and raised in a small town, going to a small town in Laramie, um, that's only going to help me in my, in my future. Uh, just because I know my core values, I'm not going to change up going to a big city. Obviously, the media is going to be a little intensified there. Um, but I, I feel like I handle myself well in front of you guys. And, uh, you know, it shouldn't be a big change. Do you get a sense at all who might take you? I know you visited all these teams. Do you get a sense <laughs> at all where you might be going or anything? I might be going to eight <laughs> different teams. I have no idea what's going to happen. Um, I'm looking forward to being there and enjoying the experience with my family back in the green room. And 
whether uh, I'm the first first person to get up and walk across the stage or the last person to get off stage, I'm just looking forward to the opportunity. What do you have out with you uh, down here? Sure, I got like 60 people from Fireball. Uh, you know, in the green room, we'll have my parents, family, uh, brothers, sisters, girlfriend, grandparents, Jordan Palmer and his wife, Coach Vegan and Coach Bowler coming out. Uh, so looking forward to seeing those guys. 60 people from where? Fireball. It's my hometown. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the whole town? Basically. <laughs>